today we will discuss rectifier circuit rectifier is a circuit which converts ac to dc normally rectifiers are classified into three types half wave rectifier full wave rectifier and bridge rectifier in this experiment we will see how to conduct half wave rectifier and how to measure its ripple factor with and without capacitor filter so to conduct half wave rectifier we need components that is we need breadboard a cro diode in4007 resistor capacitors and a transformer so now i will show you how to connect half wave rectifier circuit here we have transformer it's a 909 transformer we have a diode in4000 diode in4007 so this one is anode and this part is cathode this one is anode and this one is cathode part now i am connecting the diode so i have connected a diode here anode and the cathode so it is 909 transformer 9 positive 0 ground and 9 again positive since half wave rectifier we are using only one diode i need only one positive terminal so 9 is connected to anode part of the diode and 0 is connected to ground 9 is connected to anode part and 0 is connected to ground i am using a 1 kilo ohm resistor as load resistor so i am connecting this load resistor from cathode terminal to the ground now i am using here cro so it has two channels channel 1 i am using for input signal and channel 2 i am using for output signal first let us see what's the input signal first we need to set it to ground and here we can see input is a sinusoidal signal input is a sinusoidal wave so once we rectify it with the help of diode then this full wave will be converted into half wave because diode will conduct in only one direction and opposite direction it will not be conducting now we will check the output so the positive terminal of the probe is connected to cathode part of the diode and negative is connected to ground now we are using channel 2 as output so we can see here the output is a rectified one that is we are getting half a rectifier output so during positive half cycle diode conducts during negative off cycle diode will be off it will not conduct similarly next positive off cycle diode will conduct and it continues so we will get output only for the positive off cycle and will not be getting any output for negative off cycle now we will find out what is the value of vm so here first let's see whether it is in the zero so it is 0.2 0.4 0.6 0.81 so the maximum value here is 1.8 so 1.8 since i am using channel 2 1.8 into 5 so vm is 9 volt so now first we are doing without capacitor filter so vm will be 1.8 into 5 9 volts so once i found vm next we will be calculating vdc we have the formula for vdc vm by pi so vm is 9 volt divided by pi 2.86 four volts next we are finding vrms we have the formula for vrms vm by 2 so vrms will be 4.5 volts so the aim of this experiment is to find out ripple factor of half wave rectifier without capacitor filter so to find out ripple factor we have the formula vrms divided by vdc whole square minus 1 whole root so vrms 4.5 vdc 2.864 whole square minus 1 under root so we'll get 1.21 as the ripple factor without capacitor filter now we'll move to find out ripple factor with capacitor filter 
So, a capacitor filter will be used in parallel with 1 kilo ohm resistor. So, I have already used 1 kilo ohm resistor here in the cath from cathode to ground. In the same part, I am using a 47 microfarad capacitor from anode of the diode to the ground. So, now if you see the output, we can clearly observe ripples are reduced. You can clearly observe. So, this is the waveform after connecting the capacitor filter. Now, here to find out the ripple factor, first we need to find out VR and V shift. So, VR is this is the small portion in the waveform which is nearly equal to 0.6 here. So, to find out it exactly, I will bring it to ground. Now, I will move this one towards the ground. We can see this small portion is 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. So, this small portion is VR. So, VR is 0 0.6 into 5. Next, again I will bring it to ground and now I have to find out V shift. Yes. So, V shift is the value. So, now when I release the ground, the waveform will move to some certain point. So, from here that is a reference to the minimum value. This point, what is the distance? So, what is the voltage here? So, this is nearly 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1 1.2. So, 1.2 into 5 is our V shift. So, VR is 0 0.6 into 5 and V shift is 1.2 into 5. Now, we will come to the calculation. So, with capacitor filter, so VR as I mentioned now, it is 0 0.6 into 5 that is 3 volt and V shift 1.2 into 5, 6 volts. So, we have the formula to find out V ripple in the case of half wave rectifier. So, V ripple equals VR divided by 2 root 2. So, VR is 3 volts divided by 2 root 2 and we have got 1.060 volts as V ripple. Next, we will find out VDC ripple. VDC ripple equals V shift plus VR by 2. So, V shift just we have calculated that is 6 volt plus VR divided by 2. VR is 3 volt divided by 2 that is 7.5 volts. Now we are finding out ripple factor. So practical ripple factor is given by the formula V ripple divided by VDC ripple. So V ripple is 1.060 volts and VDC ripple 7.5. So we have got the answer 0 0.141. So we can clearly observe ripple factor with capacitor filter is 0 0.141 without capacitor filter was 1.21. That means by using a capacitor filter, I can reduce the ripples. So, this is the practical value. Now, I need to check whether it is equal to or approximately equal to theoretical value. We have the formula for theoretical ripple factor. Theoretical ripple factor equals 1 divided by 2 root 3 F into C into RL. So, which is equal to 1 divided by 2 root 3 F. I am taking the frequency of the AC that is 50 hertz. C, we have used 47 microfarad capacitor and RL 1 kilo ohm. So, the answer what I will going to get is 0 0.122. So, we can see there is similarity between this ripple factor practical value and ripple factor theoretical value.